Hey fam, welcome back to another video. This is educational code for this round 149, and the problem is bracket coloring. So let's quickly see what the problem states. And the problem states that you have a regular bracket sequence. A bracket sequence is nothing but uh, it's just a perfectly balanced bracket okay so perfectly balanced means by looking at this only we can say it is perfectly balanced and uh, this is not perfectly balanced but in order to say it mathematically in the question they told that you should be able to add some numbers like one and plus so that the arithmetic expression uh, is correct so that's what about so i hope you guys know what a balanced bracket means and now the thing is they are calling this bra they are just modifying it a little bit a bracket sequence is called beautiful if one of the following condition is satisfied what is, what are those conditions so they are modifying this to something called as beautiful so what are those conditions first thing is it can be a regular back bracket sequence like this it can be something like this and second thing is if the order of the characters in this sequence is reversed it becomes a regular bracket sequence so for example let's say this is a normal string by looking at this we say that okay can you put one and plus here to form it a uh, correct arithmetic expression obviously not and it is not a regular bracket right but what if you reverse it reverse it means uh, you just want to reverse from right side to left side so you put this here you put this here you put this here you put this here now it became a regular bracket sequence right so that's the case so either it's regular or once you reverse it it becomes regular that those bracket sequence is called as beautiful now till now we understood what is beautiful so they just told you examples what are beautiful so this is a regular bracket sequence this is a regular bracket sequence this is uh, normally not regular but uh, once you reverse this right this becomes like this 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 and this 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 from right to left if you reverse it becomes beautiful and this also if you reverse this this becomes beautiful so these are all beautiful examples now the thing is you are given a bracket sequence x you have to color it in such a way that okay you will be given any bracket sequence you have to color it in such a way that every bracket is colored into one color so suppose let's say this just for example i am coloring it as one two three four every bracket i'm mapping it to one color and i have many colors like one two three four are all colors first thing is every bracket is colored into one color okay i colored then for every color, there is at least one bracket color into that color. Suppose if I keep a set like 1, 2, 3, 4, there is at least one bracket that is colored, right? Here one bracket is colored. Suppose if I keep something like 5, 5 is not colored here. So this is invalid. Only those same numbers should come here. Suppose if one more bracket comes something like this, I can color 1, 1, same, no problem. Uh, so only the color that we took should be utilized in one of the brackets. Third thing is, for every color, if you write down the sequence of brackets having the color in the order they appear, you will get a beautiful bracket sequence. That means what? Suppose uh, I take uh, only one here. One, two, three, four are the colors I took. So suppose I take one here. Is this beautiful? Definitely not, right? Let's say one and uh, this comes here and this comes here. So this is not a beautiful bracket sequence. What can be a beautiful bracket sequence? Let's say something like this. Uh, this is also not beautiful. Can you make this beautiful? No. So let's take one example like uh, this one. So bracket bracket, open bracket and close bracket. So what do I do? Let's say I'm randomly putting colors like this is of color one, this is of color one, this is of color two, this is of color two, this is of color one, this is of color one. Now I want to group these sequences. So I grouped these sequences and I grouped these sequences. Now this is already beautiful. Now this is not regular. So can we make this beautiful? Yes. Once we reverse this, it comes here, comes here, and this comes here, and this comes here. This became beautiful again. So this coloring is valid. Okay. So that's what it all about. So one thing is they will give you the bracket sequence. You need to color it in such a way that if I take all the numbers in that color together and concatenate it, it will be beautiful. Beautiful can be of two types. It can be either regular bracket sequence or some bracket sequence will be there. If you reverse it, it becomes regular. That's all the question about. Now let's see how did they solve the example problems. So example problem, they told one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, how did they color it? They kept two, 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 one, two, 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 one. 
now if i group all this together it will be 2 to 2 here and this 2 here and one will be close and one here right this one and this one i put it here this is already regular now this is not uh, regular now this is not regular i want to make it beautiful means i can simply reverse it this is beautiful so that's what the coloring is about but are there any other ways yes there can be many ways so if you do something like this and uh, what can be way i can put all these as one color and all these are separate color still it is the same right this is perfectly balanced and i am just putting two two instead of one one here i am just coloring it in a different way so uh, this is also a valid combination so they are telling that if you have multiple operations in it you can uh, what you can color it in any way but the thing is if you choose k as two colors only that two colors should be present in bracket that's all now this is already regular and this is also only one color is needed you can't put like 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 is invalid if it is only one color you can only put 1 1 1 1 now why did the last number is minus 1 because however way you color this won't be beautiful in any manner so that's why they kept it as minus 1 minus 1 means it's invalid it's not beautiful now we got all the points now first matching means what do we think of it first if you know data structures uh, again, I am just uh, thinking about how to approach the problem. If you know data structures, if you want to know how a uh, data structure is perfectly balanced, we use stack, right? So if I want to know, you can just have count or something like that. But how does a stack work? Just for other those who don't know, you just put this open bracket here. Then again, if it's open bracket, you put it. Again, if it's open bracket, you put it. And if it's a close bracket, so till now we inserted everything here. This is a close bracket, right? If it's a close bracket, and if it's a top one is open bracket, what do you do? You just put it outside. That means this number is perfectly balanced. Now this one comes here. This is a group of this, right? This is already part of it. Now what do you do? I keep this one also out of the stack. Again, I put this here. I put try to put this one here. If it is open, this is open bracket and this is closing bracket is coming. What do I do? I can just close it because this is already grouped with here. Now. What is the next number? Next number is empty. It comes here. Then one more closed bracket comes. If closed bracket comes, I need to check whether the open bracket is there or not. If it is there, I'll come out. So at last, once the stack is empty, I can definitely say that the brackets are all balanced. It is matched. But in this case, there is a twist. Not only this is balanced, they are telling that this also is balanced. Because once you reverse it, see the word, once you reverse it, this is balanced okay so for that instead of this we have to check for this sequence also if you want to check for this sequence we have to think in reverse manner if you think reverse manner means you insert this you insert this whenever open comes you check whether closed is there or not if open comes closed is there or not means what do i do i just put this out of the list out of the stack now if again this one comes here if this one comes this is this is again open right open now closed is already there i just want to move this out because i got a match now this is also perfectly balanced but the thing is if we are doing mix everything is mix 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 something like that this uh, like something like that i just can't arrange everything together right either i want if open is already there if close comes i need to remove that open if close is already there if open comes i need to remove but we don't know which bracket belongs to which family. But one thing we observed here, if it is regular or if it is reverse order or if it is one, there are only two possibilities and that can happen to be balanced. Either open comes and closed comes out for the same family or closed comes and open, open goes and comes up back. That means if, sorry, if open comes and close matches it, it comes out. Or if close comes and open matches it comes out so there is only two families out of it two possible combinations so two possible combinations mean what at max you can have only two colors okay at max only two colors now if everything belongs to only one family means only one color if everything is reverse we can pick one and if everything is same if everything is same we can just pick one and if it is neither of both of this we say that it is minus one now we covered all possibilities we said that okay uh, if open uh, that one balance is open and close and other balance is close and open so we have two colors at max because there are only two families two groups now if it is only one we say that it's one color 
If it is not regular, we say that it's minus one, it's invalid. That's all, we are done. But how do we code it? It's very simple. We put stacks, we maintain two stacks together. If, suppose, let's say that if a closed value comes, this is matching. But what if a closed value comes at the start itself? This is not, this is invalid in the first case, but this is valid in the second case, right? Here closed should not come on the first bracket, but closed can come on the second bracket, right? Now, if open can come here, if it is empty, open can come here, but open can't come here. So we just shuffle between these two uh, brackets. So whenever we find a match, like suppose let's say this is empty and this is closed, open bracket comes. Open bracket, if it goes here, what happens? Open bracket, if it goes here, this number will come out. Open bracket, if it goes here, this will simply stay here. So if it's balanced, if a array or if that the given string is balanced, if the if we rearrange in this format, definitely we can say that either one of both of the stacks will be empty together. So for this, let's understand with the help of a code. So there are only two things. We just want to check whether uh, all the colors are how many maximum number of colors either it's possible how do we get minus one how do we get minus one when a uh, beautiful array can't be found when does a beautiful array can't be found if st1 if, let's call this this is a stack one and this is stack two if one of them is having some extra junk values like matching did not take place we say that okay it's minus one because there is some extra residue uh, characters are there so it's not possible so it's minus one now, if only one is there means what? One is there means I just say that I'll simply map the colors. Okay, whenever I am putting it to ST2, I say that, okay, I am checking one of the color is happening. So I say that I can use something like a color variable one plus plus, and this is called color two plus plus. So once I say that something is happening in the stack one, I say that one of the color is increasing. Something is happening in the stack two, I say that one of the color is increasing. So if two colors are there, then I say that it is true. Okay. If one of the color is there, one of them color is zero and one of the color is not there, I say that there is only one color and everything I can put one. But if two color comes, we need to maintain it. So that's where we need to understand with the help of this problem. So let's take the example that they given here. That is this, 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 two, three, four, five. This is the example that they give. Now let's walk you through the code. Now, this is stack one and this is what? This is stack two. Okay. Now, let's uh, let's assume this is the resultant vector. All the colors will be stored here. Now, what did I do here? So, if you see, right, if S of I is open bracket, open bracket means it can, okay. So, we understood that this can always starts with open bracket. Okay. This is reverse case, always starts with close bracket. Now, if open bracket comes, then what is our preference if someone is already there with a the close to bracket we need to push that guy out right st2 is empty here okay st top is not uh, close bracket st2 is empty here and if it's empty what do we do we go to st1 dot push and this one this means what i am incrementing one color okay this is let's say this is color 2 equal to 1 okay and v dot pushback of 1 you can simply put 1 here that means I am inserting one of the colors. Whenever I go to ST1, I put one color simply for time being. Now ST2, one dot push, now you opened it. Now let's say that what is the next number? This is process, this is open bracket. Open bracket, again I'll check whether someone should be cancelled or not. Some is balanced, it is not balanced, right? Now I'll do this one. Color simply increments here, I just want to keep the map because color one is, right now it is zero. Now this is also one. Now this one also comes right. Similarly, it is same. Now close bracket comes. What is my first preference? I need to check whether ST1 is having an opening bracket or not. ST1 is having an opening bracket or not. If ST1 is not having an opening, ST1 is not empty and it is having an opening bracket, I just need to push this thing out. So I need to push this. Who helped me? Whenever this closed thing comes, I will push this out. Now only one color is processed, right? So this color keeps processing. But here, this is part of group one only. ST1 means group one. Again, close bracket comes, close bracket comes, same thing, same thing. This, uh, so if you see, this uh, one comes out. Similarly, let's say one more guy comes. 
this is also one this is also one one more guy comes and this guy will group here now this also gone now what st1 is empty st2 is also empty okay now this guy comes this is all process now this guy comes close to bracket can close to bracket go here closed bracket cannot start with st1 because there should be a match right there should be a match only then it will go now if close to bracket comes what happens it goes to check whether uh, st1 is having or not st1 is not having so it goes to st2 and pushes now i have a color different color happened so i increment one of the color variable and i say that this is part of group 2 okay now open bracket comes open bracket can go here as well but the best thing is i need to cancel the elements that are already getting matched so st2 it is matching so what do i do i erase this that means this uh, closed bracket here is just coming out because of this match okay now color increases and this is also part of two this is also a valid answer now as i told you earlier if both of them are empty that means it is perfectly balanced that is it is perfectly balanced if it is not perfectly balanced one of them is having values it is minus one it is not beautiful now if both the colors exist both the colors are non-zero you say that there are two colors exist if one of the color only this one is happening we are pretty sure that only one color exists now in the for loop you simply print this vector array here you need to take care of the mind as i told you we may happen that since st2 we mapped it as two number it may happen that in some cases you can get two 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 so if only one color exists you just have to print one 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 so that's what i did if only one of the color exists if uh, suppose if both of them can't be zero right one of the color definitely exists if only one of the color exists if it's like if one of the color is zero you print all one 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 and if both of the colors exist you simply print v of i value and uh, this solution is accepted so uh, you would be able to see the solution so what if you have any doubts please let me know and uh, we can actually optimize this so I, you can do that as a homework like instead of stack right you can simply use a counter variable like counter plus plus counter minus minus like that so that's where you can try out also so let just let me know if you can further optimize this as well other than the counter variable which i suggested so that's all guys i hope this video is useful so if you like the video please click the like button and please share your comments so that is very important for me uh, to keep uploading more videos so that's it uh, see you in the next video